So we'll start. Last time you and I were together, Clemson was getting ready to play Ohio State. Mm-hmm. What was that like? You know, being did you get to go to the game? What was it like being there watching your alma mater? Uh, you, you know, in, in your town, your your town now. Well, you know, we were actually away. We had a game that um, that Saturday, and so we I watched that game by myself <laughs> because I didn't want to be surrounded with anyone. But you know, it's a thrill. It really was um, to see our team as as good as they are, the chemistry, uh, the culture, everything. Uh, I mean, it's just on all all cylinders. And so it was so it was really good. National championship. Where did you watch that? Just some of your thoughts and feelings on that was, one too. I was there. I was there. I was in the stands. Like, uh, and it's kind of funny because I normally don't play the role of, of a fan, but I was a fan, and I went with all those emotions, those ups and downs, down by fourteen, uh, six seconds left on the clock. Uh, but it was amazing, especially the end results. Can you describe what what it felt like when the final second ticked off the clock and? And, and, and your alma mater wins the, the title. Something I'm sure you would have loved to have won. Oh, yeah, you, you know, you feel a part of it. Um, it was amazing. It really was. And especially in the fashion that it went down. It was just amazing. I loved every bit of it. I'm, I'm so happy as a fan, as a guy who went to Clemson. But I'm, I'm really happy for the program and, and in the direction it's headed. I have to ask this, and this is something somebody asked me the other day. Part of that 91 defense that mm-hmm. so many NFL guys, 2014 at Clemson was pretty good. Last year was pretty good. Right. Which one's the best? Uh, <laughs> we probably were the better defense. Yeah. I, I don't think uh, it, it not. It was not only our um, starting seven. It was our depth that we had that you could put interchangeable parts in there, and we would work. It, I mean, we didn't let people cross the fifty. So I don't, our defense uh, was amazing. I don't think I don't know if you're gonna find another defense like that. I mean, we have. Just our four outside linebackers are all draft picks. I mean, right. you can imagine the rest of the guys. So I, I always going to be in favor of our defense. For this to, to be honored the way that you are tonight, what does this mean to you, a kid that grew up in Lamar, small town, to, right. to get this honor? It's amazing. It really is uh, because I, I do come from humble backgrounds, you know, from hardworking family, small town, and you know, Clemson was such a big idea at the time, and uh, to ever to be to be able to push through that and to do as well as I did at Clemson, and uh, this career that I've had. It's been a blessing, you know. I, I have to thank the people that I connected with, the relationships I had. and uh, It's amazing, man. I'm looking forward to it. Recruiting has changed so much since you were being recruited. How did you get to Clemson? How did LeVon Kirkland wind up in Death Valley? It, it, it's an amazing story. You know, actually, I got what they call Discover because <laughs> you got to think back in, you know, 86, 87, there were no Internet services. There's no recruiting services, really. So the word just kind of maybe got out by newspaper or you just happen, they just happened to see you and they saw you when they were recruiting another guy. And that's what happened to me. We were playing in a playoff game against Chapin and they were recruiting someone else and they happened to see me play that game. But my head coach at the time gave me a heads up and told me, hey, there's some recruiters out there. And that's all I needed to know. And, um, you know, I had a great game. Got a letter from South Carolina, was thrilled for a minute and then Clemson came along and um, that's kind of the end of the story. It, it, these kids were getting offered these days as eighth graders, ninth graders, tenth graders. Right. Did you get one your junior? Was it your senior year that you finally got an offer? Barely my senior year, <laughs> <laughs> I got an offer. I mean, um, they did look at me in the junior year, but um, you know, it was just a different time back then. I mean, I, I imagine if I was, um, you know, now it probably get probably more so. But I'm gonna tell you how my signing went. It was like maybe five people there. I think it's my myself, <laughs> including myself. My father, my head coach, Coach Vanderhagen, and the, Larry, yeah. and the camera guy. And that was my, and I don't think anybody knew about my signing day besides me. I mean, now everybody gets the has, everybody gets the, uh, the big ceremony. I, I think I had, I had five people. And uh, me and my father, after I signed, we walked out, um, I hugged him, and it was a great day for me. Just for, for my purposes, I've never heard you tell this story before, but Laverne. <laughs> How did Laverne come yeah. about? It's, you know, it's kind of a story that I'm, I'm going to say for tonight, but, I, but I'm going to tell you. Uh, <laughs> you know, my, my first year I got red-shirted. Right. And then the next year, you know, you're trying to play. You're trying to get out there. And we had a drill 
Um, it's basically kind of like three offensive guys versus three defensive guys. Mm -hmm. We got a running back and a quarterback. Mm -hmm. And as a defensive guy, it's usually harder. You got to share the guy and make the tackle. Right. So the first time they did it, bam, I shared the guy, made the tackle. Second time, bam, shared the guy, made the tackle. Mm -hmm. Third time, shared the guy, made the tackle. Now, I have never mm -hmm. done that ever again from, I mean, even to the pro level. So I'm like, man, that's good. So the next day, Danny, Ford, you know, Coach Ford is going to, he always kind of review players and how players are doing. I'm thinking like, oh, man, he's a, Danny Ford is going to call my name. Because before that, I don't think he knew who I was. So I'm like, he's going to call my name. And he gets up there, he said, and sure enough, he's like, if you want to see how to do this three-on-three -three drill, watch LaBerne Kirkland. And everybody kind of like chuckled a little bit. But to carry on, I said, hey, coach, my name's LeVon. He's like, I know your damn name. And I was like, yeah, my name is Laverne. I forgot. I'm Laverne Kirkman Jr. Jr. Because my brother is Laverne Jr. and my father is Laverne Sr. So, um, but I still was, I was still geek that you recognized from all this. But he did call me Laverne. Did he call you Laverne the, 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 he, every, he, from he, then on? He carried it on for a while. But you know now, he'll call me LeVon, but sometimes I even say, hey coach, it's Laverne here. He'd be like, it's LeVon, I know, I know. But um, it was an amazing story. And like I said, I was a redshirt freshman, man, a, a kid out of nowhere. And for Danny Ford won a national championship to recognize me as a freshman was tremendous. And then my final question, and, and, I, and this is tough, but uh, a part of Keisha with you here tonight, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, um, you know, um, Keisha was uh, everything to me. She was a, a wonderful woman. She was a warrior at the end, you know, and I, I saw her at her best and I saw her at the worst, but, you know, she gave me a special gift as Kennedy. And, you know, like I said before, you always reflect when you get recognized. And, you know, I just want to make sure I, I thank her in a proper way tonight. And uh, I know she's... I know she's looking down because she loves sport, but I gotta tell her that uh, we beat we beat Louisville this year. <laughs> she, she she went to Louisville. We beat Louisville this year, so um, I, I'm sure she's not gonna be uh, happy about that. But uh, you know, I love her, man. She was incredible, tremendous, and um, the time we were together it was probably shorter than I want. But she really impacted my life. Thank you. All right.